Good morning, welcome to Planet Mojo. Today, I'm gonna to get the maintenance done on the snapper. The first and most obvious thing I need to do is get this tire fixed. It's been leaking uh, fairly bad so I filled it up, took it off, filled it up, and put it in Izzy's pool, and it's coming completely out of the valve stem. So I couldn't find my little valve stem tool, so we went and picked one up, and it has four valves in it. So I'm hoping, first I'm going to try to just tighten it. I'll fill it up, bring it over to the pool, and test it. And if that doesn't do it, I'll change the valve. Okay, with my handy dandy four-way tool, I'm going to try tightening it. Now I'll fill it with air again and plunge it into the pool. Leaking out of the rim too. I can definitely hear it leak, so I'm just going to change the valve. Okay, off to the pool. Okay. That fixed it. It was just a bad valve. So I'm going to get this. Well, I got to dry that off and I'm going to put a little grease on it, get the tire back on, and then this lawnmower is made to tip up. But unfortunately, well, this is what I did I extended this so that I could change the oil easier but now it doesn't sit on these. So I think I need to put this up on four by fours, tip it up onto them, and then the gas tank comes off so that the gas doesn't spill all out and this tightens up. Might as well do that right now. It's all very complicated, but I'll show you. Okay, she's mobile again. That was the problem. Just a bad valve on there. So now what I need to do is just roll it in here on a flat surface and then get it up on them four by fours. I do believe it was a two person process because of the fuel tank. The fuel tank just pops off of this bracket but I can't remember for the life of me what you did with it. If you set it on the seat or how that worked. It doesn't leak if you have this valve closed. So I don't know if you really need to take it off. Well, it says right here. No, no it doesn't. Before standing more on an closed vent. 
for long storage remove completely so that's what the brackets for so I actually don't have to take this off I got the vent closed and the cap closed really well so let's roll her in and get her stood up I had to close the door a bit to get the camera to focus better because it appears so dark back here with all that bright light out there. What I'm trying to do is find out why this steering, it seems like, oh, within, I guess it's been maybe a year or so now, when you're turning, all of a sudden it just goes full left or right and it yeah and then it locks right here it'll get like that and then it'll lock up and i don't i don't see anything that's missing i thought maybe there would be like a return spring these are for uh attaching something to i'm not sure what the attachment would be but that's not it. And I don't see any attachment points, you know, like for a heavy spring or something like that. You would think there would be like a spring coming from here to something fixed and the same on the other side. That would keep it fairly stable in the middle. And I'm not sure if it would stop it from locking up like that, but at least it would... Uh, make it less likely. Yeah, it got, especially in this direction, it just goes all the way over like that. And you can't just, you have to really work at it to get it out of there. Yeah, I don't see anything busted or anything missing. What I'm gonna have to do is go look on the computer and look at the exploded view of the steering mechanism and see if something's missing. The steering column itself is just a rod that comes through here to right here. So it would be in this linkage right here. And I don't know what the hell it would look like. Okay, let me go look on the computer. If I can't find it, it's just going to have to remain the way it is. But it really seems like it got a lot more dangerous maybe two years ago and started locking up. I mean, when you're turning, all of a sudden it'll just go all the way and lock up like that. And it's really hard to get back. You can't do it from that side. You have to do it from there. But, well, you would be using the steering wheel. But when you're going downhill with a lot of weight on the front tires, it's really hard to get it out of that locked position. I mean, I, I could probably put a limiter on it. Yeah, this, this rod right here is almost parallel, so it's not... I mean, if you could put a limiter right here, maybe that would do it so that it can't get into that locked position. I don't, but yeah, it does do it on the other side, but it's easy to come out on the other side. Well, let me see. No, it's kind of the same. Let's go look and see if something's missing. And if I can't do anything with this, it'll have to remain that way. And you just gotta have a really good hold on the steering wheel and not turn it too much then i'll go and uh i'm going to change the oil on this and check the air filter
All right, I checked the diagrams and I know this is gonna be pretty dark, but everything is just fine with this steering. I remember now when I first, when we first cleared that land down by the vineyard, the hill going up to the dry lot, I used to cut that and going downhill, it's like this thing had really bad brakes and if you turn the wheel at all, it would get locked like that and start sliding forward. Um, I guess this steering system is okay for level ground, but going downhill, this is just nuts. You really got to keep a good hold on the steering wheel. But there's nothing I can do to help this out. The blades are pretty sharp and the deck is pretty clean. So I'm going to tip this thing back up. I'm going to change the oil, check the air filter, and it was running just fine. So uh, it should be ready to go. Okay, that'll wrap up the maintenance on this. Nice fresh oil in it. I should put some gas in it too. I'll do that in a minute. The blades are good. The tire is fixed. Um, tires are filled to the right pressure. Everything is good. So now I need to clean the engine on the other mower. Just got some uh, engine cleaner, but I also have some left over from before so I should probably get the engine on this cleaned as well it's only dirty on this side and around the filler but yeah I'll do it so if you want to see more homestead maintenance make sure you subscribe and click on the update icon if you have any questions or comments make sure you put them in the comment section below and if you share the video and or give it a like it helps the channel out greatly Thanks for watching and have a great day.